meeting for Monday, December 9th, 2024. Roll call. Commissioner Landowski. Here. Hollenbeck. Here. Anderson. Here. McNally. Here. Millsap. Here. Gronimus. Here. Franklin. Here. Proof of posting. The agenda was posted in the upper and lower levels of the Amundsen Community Center, the Cambridge Post Office, Badger Bank, and the Village website. Thank you, Lisa. All right, approval of the minutes from the Planned Commission meeting on September 9th, 2024. I'll move for approval. I guess the only typo is I, Mark actually chaired it, not when I called in, but besides uh -huh. that, everything was good to go. Anything else? Any other comments on the, uh, on the minutes? All those in favor of the minutes, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right, public appearances. If anyone wants to come up and speak, for anything regarding the Planned Commission, uh, come on up. Good evening. Howdy. And just uh, state your name at and your address, please. Sure thing. I'm Matt Dozwa. My address is 618 Drumlin Trail. Um, I've just come quickly to, to talk about the, uh, I think it's item five maybe, about the proposed uh, rezoning of the lot on Drumlin Trail there from one lot to three lots. Um, I'm, the, I'm the property directly adjacent to it. Um, I wanted to come to both my wife and I have reviewed the plan and the uh, covenants and restrictions, and uh, we're fully in support of this. We think it uh, fits the um, character of the um, neighborhood and kind of the essence and um, addresses the concerns that we brought up before about some of the other proposals. So that's all I had to say. I thank you for your time, and that's it. All Thanks, right. Max. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anyone else? My name is Marcia Taronis. I live at 616 Drumlin Trail next door to Matt, so two lots over from the current bacon lot. I'd just like to reiterate exactly what Matt said, that um, we think it's a great fit for our neighborhood. Okay, thank, thank you. you. All right. They're nice size lots. Yeah, yeah. Do I come up now? I mean, no, no, we'll, we'll get to that for the, uh, on the agenda. Um, all right, so that'll close the public appearances. Item five, new business discussion and possible action regarding item A, certified survey map for the Mats Plat on Drumlin Trail. So if Lisa, if you want to give us a little background yeah. and then Aaron, Aaron come up Aaron, and if uh, you want to. Um, yeah. It is the same lot we had looked at before for the apartments. They're looking at um, splitting that into three properties for the purpose of single family yeah. homes. Here, if you want to go a little bit more detail on the on the plan. Yeah, sure. Um, so I have been to both of the previous meetings in the last couple of years where some multifamily had been proposed on this lot and kind of heard what the residents of the village felt about that. Um, I also, I used to live in Woodhaven and now I live in the vineyards. So I wanted to ensure that this remains single family properties. Um, it sounds like that's really what everybody wants. One of my main concerns, <coughs> sorry, I hate public speaking, <laughs> is just the traffic um, and the EMS. We use EMS a lot for my son, and like I just don't want more apartments there. We don't have an outlet for it. So this is a good way to carry through some beautiful homes. Yeah. Do you guys have questions? No. I I see uh, three lots here, um, and I also see that you included some covenants and restrictions, um, which is good. Because these look, uh, they look pretty consistent with some of the other subdivisions, Deerfield, which are really nice, which yeah. I was glad to see. So this can kind of ensure that the builder has to stick with and build a, a quality home that's going to be consistent with the rest of the neighborhood. Um, yeah. So I was. Really happy to see that. Uh, other members of the commission, uh, what are your thoughts, concerns, questions? I thought they looked pretty good. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. One, I, one. I have a question. Sure. Uh, the the um, covenants that, that we have here, I guess they're only three lots, correct? That's correct. The, does the rest of the Woodhaven area have the covenants as well as the same covenants? No. We have, well, we have they covenants, don't have those same covenants, but they're not necessarily the same. The ones I created are a little bit more strict just because of kind of the history with this lot. And I think the main goal is to make sure that they're beautiful homes. And I know in the past there have been some communities where maybe a developer comes in and 
they can be kind of loosely interpreted. So you'll see that I'm like committed to sticking with that as the developer for at least five years um, and taking control of that. And then if it becomes turned over to the homeowners once all three lots are sold, whichever is first, they have to adhere to it too. It can't be dissolved. So they're pretty strict and I'm open to it being the same as Woodhaven, but that was pretty intentional. I have a question. Um, and it has to do with driveways. I mean, they're not identified where you would put them, mm -hmm. but I'm assuming you're going to have all three off of Rumley Trail, right? So you're not yep. going to introduce another slow up on Kenseth Way. Correct. Okay. I'm a little curious about three lots versus two. Mm -hmm. It could be. So you'll see that they're pretty substantial in size. They're nearly yeah. half an acre. Yep. So I do have a couple of variations from Ferencott alternate CSMs that I didn't propose yet just because it would open up a driveway, um, another right of way on Kenseth, and I don't think that's ideal. Um, so I do have like pre vetted home plans, and I also brought with the plat of the vineyards and those lot sizes and how narrow they are with their road frontage um, which they're even more narrow in many cases Lisa does this meet all the setbacks and our ordinances and all the homes as they yeah. are presented would have to meet the setbacks right, and I see right. you have the um, easements on each of the lots um, the lots aren't sold yet no Oh. This is an offer contingent upon approval here from you. Gotcha. So since this is new, and this is kind of a question <clears throat> to you, do we have to do anything with sidewalks? I mean, Woodhaven has no sidewalks. Woodhaven does not. New subdivisions are required to have su sidewalks. Um, but this is a CSM. Not a full subdivision, right? No, but no. when the homes are built and so forth, um, why Woodhaven didn't have them? I don't know if that was part of the developers' agreement or um, it's. And I guess that's something that could be discussed because those sidewalks would not go anywhere. Yeah, it wouldn't, <laughs> it wouldn't really make a lot of sense yeah. to have like a little um, section of sidewalks. Yeah. So. Um, For continuity, it would make sense. To yeah. Not. I've seen lots like that where they just stop and it adds no weird. sidewalks. Yeah. It just yeah. makes no sense. It's always weird. It is weird. <laughs> well, I think, uh, oh, Mark, go ahead. I, I was going to make a motion, but go ahead. No, I was just going to say um, I'm big on the smart growth plan, and this is pretty consistent with uh, mm -hmm. our intent uh, when we went through the smart growth plan for this lot. So it's, uh, it's nice to see someone come in and, and pay attention to that and, and present something that fits within it and within the character of the neighborhood. So. Um, I'm all for it. I make a motion that we approve this request and submit it to, to, the, the village board. to the village board for their uh, further consideration, the certified survey map for the Matt's Platte Drumlin Trail. I'll okay. second that. Any further discussion? Okay, all those in favor of approval for the CSM for Matt's Platte Drumlin Trail, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. So we'll go to the board. Uh, Tomorrow, tomorrow night, tomorrow it's night. on the agenda. So. Okay. Thank you. Yep, Thank you. All right, item uh, 5B, sidewalk easement agreement with Cambridge Presbyterian Church. Um, as you know, they've been before us a couple times. They also did take yeah. this to the water and sewer. It was requested, and water and sewer had no issues with Good. the okay. um, easement. So they did go ahead and have the easement drafted, and it is what is before you yeah. so has the lawyer looked over? our lawyer has looked it over it meets everything so she said it's policy decision for the board but she was fine with it legally okay. oh, indemnity and so forth was covered so yeah. okay. um. any comments or concerns it looks pretty straightforward 
as long as water and sewer signed off on it, that was my only concern, and I see you took it to them, so mm -hmm. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. You want to make a motion? I, I would move that uh, we make a recommendation to make a recommendation yep. uh, uh, to uh, approve the easement agreement uh, to the village board. I'll second. Any further discussion? All those in favor of this, uh, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. It's going to the board for uh, just tomorrow night as well? Yep. Okay, great. Item six, any uh, unfinished business? It looks like we don't have any. Uh, correspondence, none. And then I've made any other business I can legally brought before the committee for consideration on future agendas, questions, or comments from staff. You guys got anything? I got one. Yep. A sign on Main Street for the record store, which I love. Uh, what do we know about that? I did ask the building inspector, and he said it does meet the. Um, oh, it does. It does Good. meet then it. I'm and, happy. I'm happy. Um, All right. I, I know. Didn't allow lighted signs. We don't allow the neon, but the lighted. He did say so. He had approved it. He did say it met. I I, because I received a phone call, okay. and um, I questioned, and he did say it, it met. Okay. All's well, okay. it ends well. All right. I have something to, um, two of my neighbors talking about the new quick trip, yep. and then they were talking about the old quick trip. Now that the old quick trip is gone, the intersection for 12 and 18, when it's dark, is pretty dark. Pretty dark <laughs> for a major intersection. Um, we do have four of our little street lights there, but they, they don't either. really light that. Uh, now, granted, it's a state road or state highway. I don't know. I'm bringing it up here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we don't know what's going to go in there, do we? No. No. Would, wouldn't that have been something that the plan commission should have looked at at the first get go? The lighting or where it looks? Well, well what's going to go in there? Well, or what the plan was? It's just going to put it up for sale, right? Yeah, it's yeah. private property. Yeah. So, okay. um, yeah, we so have sold. We are an off ramp. Once it's really sold, if it meets. Code or you know zoning, it wouldn't necessarily okay. have yeah. to come before us. Um, but, but, but can the state supply some kind of lighting or something? We or can look into it. Yeah. Um, see if it's really needed. Yeah. Um, You're right. It is dark. It is dark. Yeah, I noticed that last night driving through the intersection, because you'd come off of all that illumination, mm -hmm. and then you're sort of well. Yeah. And if it wasn't for a few lights inside, uh, you'd have nothing. But that's not much in the way of ambient lighting. Yeah, we can look into that. Sure, like the new quick trip, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I talked to them. There was the manager, and then there was the general manager. And, you know, uh, what are you going to do with the old one? And, you know, and try to get that decommissioned, take the canopy, all They've the They've got to get rid out. of the tanks. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. they have to do it. Yeah. Quickly. And then mm -hmm. see what they can do to sell that. Mm -hmm. So, Can I bring up one other thing, mm -hmm. real quick? Since I already brought up sidewalks, I drove through the winery today. Half the homes don't have sidewalks. Now, is that on purpose or? Some properties, going back and looking like in the cul-de-sacs, the yeah. developer's agreement did not require them in the cul-de-sacs. You know, like on Kansas Way, is just one side is all we have, not both sides? Because the west side, there is none. Along the apartments there? Check. And I know we don't have any along one side of the park. Um, that was questioned at Public Works if we need one there or not. Um, but I can look into it. I know the cul de sacs did not require them, but. Um, like where all the model homes were. Yeah, and at the very end where Kenseth goes up and around that okay. higher. One up there, just not that one. Because um, our intent going forward is everybody's going to have one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I can look I into that. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, a two items. Um, where are we at, Lisa, with a building inspector? Do we ever? That's going to be coming up. Um, 
we did meet with somebody else who was going to put a proposal together for four of us, and they have not done that. I know he knew he couldn't do it right away, and I have not gotten responses the last couple of times. I am probably going to be bringing to the board that we go out for RFP. I am not happy with um, our current. Is so a safe vote? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So. They just have manpower issues? They've had manpower. We did get a new inspector, but I'll get a phone call saying, you know, he stopped and talked to me. He told me to call you to get what, see what permits I need. Well, no. That's his job. <laughs> That's, you know, um, That's not good. You know, call Vicki, you know, asking about, you know, why are they asking me about meters being taken off when they're doing siding? Well, don't send them to Vicki, you know, it, well, yeah. Um, That's crazy. It, they were a really good company a couple years ago. They were. Um, uh, yeah, <coughs> and uh, we were hoping this one would come together for us, Marshall, Deerfield, and Waterloo. Yep. They're working in um, Cottage Grove right now and with the Amazon stuff going on there. Um, he didn't quite have the manpower to commit at the time. He was hoping by the end of the year, but I have not heard back. So, What, what about the status of existing projects? Uh, I had a project myself over the course of the summer. And I'm trying to close it out, and I got no one to talk to. And I'm afraid that I haven't talked to him now because if we didn't have, he didn't really want to do any inspections. And well, and we had issues because they wanted to do virtual inspections for everything, and it's like, no, we want in-person inspections. And that's on set. No, yeah, there's um, that can't happen. Yeah, you need need to be on site. So, um, I. Just last week or the week before, I reached out to this other company. I have not heard back, and if I don't, I'll probably be coming to the board to okay. go out for an RFP. Okay. All right. Well, my second item is building permit, but I, I don't know where we're at. Amigo Construction. They've got that big building. Um, Has he, that yeah. been? He's the one Wednesday called me and said, he told me to ask you what permits I need. When I said, can you go look? They're building a building. <laughs> um, and um, they have stopped construction. Right. They're not doing anything else right now. Okay. I sent him the permits, you know, applications he needs. I don't know that he has submitted them, but they did stop. There was also at the ice cream shop, they built a ramp and a deck with no permits. So I had him stop there and talk to them. Um, and. Okay, so Amigo Construction has voluntarily stopped construction. They were voluntold to stop. <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't go out for any permits? Hmm? They had not when they started oh. that building. So huh. I had reached out to the and builders. When we find, I know. <laughs> when we finally got somebody assigned to us here, I first week I had him go there and. Um, All right. Yeah, staff is doing too much work for yeah, that's building inspections. That's not what we're looking for. No. Okay. So All I could see was the Amigo Construction Building from Highway 18, and it, it looks, looks fine, okay, yeah. you know, but I, it yeah, just, but I no remember. permits were booked. Yeah, when I was younger, uh, there was a, a, a building like that being put up, and then um, when they were spreading the trusses, they tipped. And a guy got squished, <coughs> and it wasn't good. And I, I don't know what oversight is going on there. It's, uh, it's quite a large building, but at this point, there's no siding on it. There's no roofing, so no, the wind will blow right through it. Yeah. <coughs> what were they thinking? <laughs> I'm just asking questions. Huh. Those are my two items for further <laughs> consideration. Anybody have anything else? No, item number eight. All right, item number nine. Motion to adjourn. I'll second it. Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you, everybody. I told good. you this would be a good <laughs> one. I love it. Yeah.